Tony plays <laughs> with friends. That was kind of weird. All right, Dave. Oh. I hope you saved a ton of explosives. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Did it get over here? He filled you up with Rabina. Nice. Not this guy. Rabina. How did he not get burned by the fire? He dodge rolled through it. He had iframes. That's true. Where was his fucking iframes there? <laughs> <laughs> no. He said stars. Yes. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Good job, Carlos. Stars. But Carlos isn't part of stars, so you can't kill him. Oh, I was pretty well. I was pretty impressed they put Nemesis in the Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, it was really? pretty awesome in three. Oh, he's pissed now. You blew off half his armor. That trench coat costs like five hundred dollars. Probably. You borrowed it from Jason. Get out of there. <laughs> oh. oh Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, come on, that's not fair. He's gonna do it again. You should rocket super boom! Wait. You've got a virus! He's twenty-five! All right, now I'm you've got a better. freaking virus. No, you're infected with the T virus. That's not good, dude. Dude, you gotta dodge. Remember? I mean, you're infected, so would that really hurt you? Maybe. I don't know. Ah, dang. This is difficult, I think. Dang. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Just keep doing that. That is like really not as easy. Dave, as it it's seems. like a, it's like a more gimp version of Nightmare Cops. Yeah, <laughs> with tank controls. Just pretend that you're playing a video game. Fuck! Fuck! Oh. Oh, my gun's not loaded. Oh god! Uh, all right, now it is. I can't tell if you're hurting or not. I think it's invincible because oh. you got a virus. You're already dead. Is he gonna get up? Yep. Shit. <laughs> this is so weird to look at. This is scary. I can't see. Ooh. That was sick. Ooh. You died, dude. Dang it! Well, what do you know? It's a hard <laughs> game! Dude, take out stuff that'll help you defeat Nemesis. I did. Look, I got healing items and a magnum and all sorts of fun shit. Okay, you're gonna kick his bum bum. You should get your... This time. Your vibrator. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I Because she's a do. girl. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yes. <laughs> If Jill had a vibrator, what would it look like, Corey? I'm just saying. Yeah, Nemesis like, punches you and you fall on your butt, and then the fucking vibrator shoots out of her ass. And she's like, ah, and it kills her instantly. You guys are you make stupid. The game she's just like, they've taken everything from me. <laughs> yeah, he destroys the plane, and he uses his weird purple get over here item to fucking yank the butt plug out of your ass. Hey, I got hurt in the cutscene. Yeah. That's not fair. Oh, oh. and again. Oh, you gotta dodge every time. Damn. You don't understand. Dave. That is not as easy as it seems. Damn. Oh, oh God, dude. Switch Use. to your grenade rifle. Thank you. Oh, ah, there you go. Nice See, just try. keep doing that. Now. Oh, there, shoot him down. Yes. Nice, good job. Get ready to dodge. Yes. Nice. Again. Yes. Oh, this guy's way yes. too easy. <laughs> Fuck you. Jesus, dude. This yeah, catch up you limp good. away. Jill chases after him. She's like, get the fuck down! You freaking freaked him up. Yeah, walking to the fire, dipshit. Yeah, it was... I mean, I guess he's fine, right? He's gotten through explosions. Oh, but we just blew him apart. I don't think that's the last we'll see of him. You only oh, ruined his butcher's it. outfit. That's it. Help, Carlos. I'm a woman. Then Carlos <laughs> gets up and he's a zombie and he bites <laughs> your face off. Nah, Carlos is doing just fine. Yeah, he doesn't have much of a wound. He's holding his stomach. He's got the Mpreg virus. Yeah, he's just having internal bleeding. Don't die on me. We are both pregnant, babe. <laughs> <laughs> You're expecting more, though. Let's have babies yeah. us to us. Yeah. <laughs> so they fuse together. <laughs> October 1st. Chris, they're trying to have a fucking moment here. Sorry. I can't believe I'm still... Alive! Alive! Can't believe I'm alive! I'm alive! I, I might be wrong here, but is it true they never found the original actress for Jill to this day? No, yeah, she died. I'm pretty sure this is how the oh my god. This is how the story goes, but when they made Resident Evil 1, they got a bunch of like American uh, oh, for the cut scene, high school students to be in that. Oh, really? Or at least she was one. 
So she was just like a, an American student in Japan, and she was just like, oh, a, a weird little shoot out in the woods. I'll go do that. So she did it, and then they, no one knows who the fuck she is to this day. That's weird. Whoa, Wouldn't really? she step up and say, I did it? She probably has no idea. She probably doesn't even fucking remember she did it. You sure she's not the biggest Resident Evil fan to date? Maybe I'm completely fucking wrong here. I don't, I don't know. That's interesting. I don't know anything That's about awesome. like Resident don't Evil's origin. That's the kind of game theories I want. <laughs> That probably was a game theory at some point. Now I'm Carlos. I suck. I'm pretty sure. I looked into this before, though, and the only guy they found was the guy who did Barry Burton, and he was just some guy who was like, Yeah, that was weird. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Corey. Yeah? You wouldn't believe it. Watch what happens when I do this. Oh, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Do I have Jill's items in here? Or do I have well, Carlos items? No, I only have Carlos items in here. I just looked it up. Uh, yeah, no, I was right. But she wasn't American. She was she was some Russian girl living in Japan. Apparently, she could barely even speak English. So there's she doesn't even know about Resident Evil. Oh, that's weird. Isn't that fucking crazy? That is crazy. Her name was... But she sounded this. like she could speak English. You really you think... Joseph! Is fucking good? You like that? I mean, it's good enough. Joseph! The Japanese would be like, Wow, we need to escape. Very seri, very serious <laughs> situation. I can't really do it without sounding incredibly racist, but... Yeah, I was gonna say, what you just did, that voice acting, was what we would call culturally sensitive, I think. You handled <laughs> yeah, it pretty well. I handled it pretty well. Yeah. Looks like you're not gonna be able to go through that stair transition ever again! <laughs> her name is spelled I-N-E-Z-H. In in his Let's just call her E-Z-H. Yeah, call her E-Z-H. Okay, E-Z-H. She's if you're out there, I know you're watching this. She's <laughs> yeah, Come on the age. show and we'll reveal your, your face. Say hello, nice to meet you. Thank Wait, you if, for having me! <laughs> if, they know, if they know her name, wouldn't they know where to find her? No, they only know her first name. Oh, oh, okay. That's so fucking bizarre to me. You think like someone who worked on the game would have kept like records of everybody? Yeah, no, that's really I weird. I mean, this was like PlayStation. I don't even think they really knew what game voice acting was. They probably thought it was like a full motion video thing. That's true. This is like the Wild West of 3D video games. And they showed them, uh, what is it, Night Terror? And they're like, that's what our game's gonna be. <gasps> oh, oh, fuck. I didn't expect people to be there. <laughs> they weren't there before. You're playing as this loser. It sucks. Like, whoa. Totally oh, rad, dude. eating you. Did you step on his Dave? fucking head? Yeah, you stomp him. That's cool. Wow, you're already grabbing your tit. <laughs> We're not even like two seconds in. Wait, what's he zombies? This is a door. Is that a door right there? Use your healing item. Your titties right already there, getting dude. gripped. No, you don't need it. Actually. Yeah, no, I'm good. Right there. That. Yeah, that's not bars. a door. I don't think it's a door. Try it. I'm trying it. There's a perfectly good wall of fire in front of you that you can walk into. Do you into. have a fire extinguisher? Nah. Yeah, I'm wondering what exactly today. Go where Nemesis was. Go to Nemesis. Yeah, I guess I can try going outside. I guarantee he cleaned up all the fire for you. And the, you're gonna get a Zelda style. Ba -da 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 -da. The <laughs> easy way outside is blocked off. Okay. Finish that game of chess. That's probably the ultimate puzzle. <laughs> Nemesis smashes through. You want to play? <laughs> cool. You're not actually that bad of a guy. <laughs> then he starts and then he fucking bashes you with his thing. <laughs> Then he checkmates you. Yeah, he, he pulls out his bazooka and checkmates you in the first move. Oh, fucking thing. Uh oh. You think that's where you're supposed to be? Yeah, that, this seems right. They're putting little guys in here. Putting enemies in front of you. Oh, uh, you should just kind of like kill everything. Some kind of awesome. Carlos is kind of like a soldier. All right, I'll do. I'm getting nervous. I'll use one now. Uh, it was. You were a th caution. You were. Yeah, you fine. were fine, dude. You oh, should wait till you're down to the point where you have flashing red and you're puking up blood. That's when you should heal. And your eyes and ears are bleeding, and your nose is bleeding, and your mouth is bleeding. I'm just becoming a creepy your pasta now. Your and your fingertips are bleeding. Hyperrealistic blood coming out of your every. And your hair is falling out from stress. Oh, that's what it is. You just move the bell and uh, go through the door. Yeah, that's funny. Jill isn't strong enough to push this. That's why you need to be Carlos. Uh, Makes sense. Oh, uh, you gave developers <laughs> all. You know, I'm sure she could have just like tilted it onto its side and just rolled it. Yeah, probably. She, she could. Yeah, it. she actually could have probably done something even easier and just smashed in it in front of it. She could have poured, uh, you know, acid on it and dissolved. Oh, he looks silly. Oh! I freaking love the Resident Evil universe. What's the universe? Just dead people? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll save that barrel for later. 
It's locked with a simple lock. You'll save it for when you come outside and then a giant scary zombie's right there and you accidentally kill yourself. Have you guys seen that Dragon Ball 4D thing? Yeah, yeah, where Goku's like Universal Japan, where Goku's fighting Frieza through the mountains awesome. and shit. awesome. I want to do that. 4D? Yeah. I'm really, yeah, I'm super mad that's not in America. Alright, David uh, we Bowie. We have the entire Star Wars experience yeah, to just go what through. I fucking wanted. We've got a Star Wars theme park that no one's going to. You gotta, everyone's fucking sick of Star you Wars. You gotta become, like, what's her name? Rose's sister. You gotta become Paige and experience being blown up in the <laughs> fucking missile drop area. What are you talking? Oh, Rose. I forgot about Rose. Rose's sister, Paige. She dies in two seconds. You introduce her. She was really interested. She's like, I need to save my sister! And then her sister falls out of the... I don't recall that earth. accent, but That's okay. exactly what she her says. Her sister walks my forward sister. and falls out of bounds in the game world. She, yeah. she falls out of bounds. And Dude. then she dies in the real Star Wars universe. The Last Jedi is the most fascinating piece of shit I've ever seen. Yeah, oh, it's definitely that just... That movie's a fucking it's disaster. It's definitely just that. A piece of shit. And I'm sorry if you like it, but there's like maybe two scenes I like in that whole fucking movie. And, I, and I'm Shrugs. not even a Star I'm legitimately not a Star Wars fan. I watched the series. Ooh. Whoa, the Hunters are back. just awesome as fuck. Fuck. Oh! Watch out! That's really fucking scary. Why actually. The, the Hunters are covered in tumors oh! now. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, they're no match for Carlos and his <laughs> god. <laughs> He was twitching. My favorite part of that movie is the casino when they're riding around on Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when the they're like, the worst part. <laughs> the the scene is so bad. I love it. It's that. such an unnecessary, like, forced-in scene. It's just so pointless, so boring. Ooh. God, that movie is boring. God, you know what? Like, if we're really talking like Star Wars, I oh, didn't. So I didn't grow up with the series. One day, I went with Lexi to visit her to her parents for like Christmas. Yeah. And I saw Star Wars for the first time because I had never seen it. Mm. And I actually found the old ones, except for. Clone Wars to have some ounce of charm. Clone Wars fucking sucks. <laughs> I am sorry. It is horrible. Go watch the ones by fucking Carvin. It's not Carvinoski. It's a uh, Andy Hotel Tarkovsky did yeah. the Clone Wars cartoon. Yes, fucking miles better. And then I actually did like the third movie. <laughs> oh, there's a little first aid there. Get that. But like, holy shit, man! You watch these new movies. They're so boring and long, and like, there's just nothing I really re remember from like any of the new movies. I remember almost everything about the old movies. Even the old, even like the. Are you an angel? And I remember him like <laughs> riding around in like his fucking speeder bike, and he's like, yeah. "Whoa, we're in for it now." It's just like overacting and how charmingly bad it is. Yeah. Like, I appreciate that. These new movies. I don't appreciate at all, and I don't know if it's just because it just feels like it just feels calculated. It feels like everything is here for a motive, and the fact that they're still fucking making Carrie Fisher dance around on fucking puppet strings this late into Star Wars life is a little concerning. If I can say that, yeah. when she was floating into the fucking space, and I was laughing because of how stupid that was, and then she just tweens her <laughs> way back to the ship. The laughed when I went to see that. Yeah, she tweens her way back to the ship. I went, what? <laughs> Why is Carlos' picture, like, he doesn't want to be there? Yeah, Carlos, why don't you... Go, why don't you go back to start. Try and be look, Go and press start. Wait a minute. He press, no, press umbrella. the thing where you look at your items. Yeah, he looks like he didn't get his picture taken when he should have. Carlos <laughs> looks like Bobby from Twin Peaks in that photo. <laughs> also, his eyeballs are almost the same color as his skin, which is kind of weird. It probably is. Yeah, welcome to other fucking culture, dude. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, some people have skin where their eyeballs should be, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, skin thanks, color. Corey. I'm glad I have you here to, you know, Don't you see me. the freaking thing? Pick that up, dipshit. God, you're such a dipshit. Oh, tape recorder. Don't you know? What do you need a tape recorder to do? Record zombies? Dude, I dare you to like hack this game to beat it without without trying. <laughs> beat the oh, game without God. winning. Uh, there's probably a way to like beat this game without playing it if we just yes. skip to the credits and just Enter save voice. one. Use the tape recorder. Yes! Yes! But you know, no, this is definitely him. That sounds just like him. <laughs> Let him in! <laughs> Nice. They probably shouldn't have. So done they're that. like, "Sir, we need your voice recorded." He has a, a fright fracture on the side of his arm. Like, okay, that'll work. Okay, I want to explore this room real quick. See what else is in here. <laughs> I'm fucking Chris, goddamn. <laughs> There's a plant right there with your his name on it. His neck's been devoured. 
There's a plant right there with your name on it. It is asshole deflowered. It's a blue plant, though. Use Will you that. take it? What do you use blue herbs for to get no. extra high? You use them in the ocean to stay afloat. <laughs> it's a breathing apparatus. Go in the pot and put us up at Corey, I've been getting there. lots of complaints in the comments just all about you. But what? Yeah, Corey, you're you're just too good at what you do. Everybody's sick of you. <laughs> you should have known. Everyone says that uh, they want to know what you look like. So here is a picture of Corey, and here's a picture of his dog. And Whoa. here is a picture. Uh, I don't remember giving you a picture of my dog. That's suspicious. <laughs> here's Corey in an elevator going down. <laughs> and... We're back to the regular program. If people programming. complain about me, you know exactly what you're going to get when you watch a video with me in it. So if you're still complaining, you know, get the cum out of your ears. It's not I my fault. I was just kidding. Everyone's actually raising their arms up like a spirit bomb and praising you. That's right. <laughs> That's one way to put it. That's right. That's my type of shaft, type M. I'm just kidding. You don't have cum in your ears, but you do have a lot of gunk in your ears. And you should definitely get your ears checked up at least two times a year. Are you harassing the fans, Corey? No, that's just true. Like, people get really oh. bad wax buildup, and you it's good to go to a wax place and get that cleaned out because <laughs> yeah, you can get an infection. Yeah, all OnlyFans fans, wax your ears, clip your toenails. All OnlyFans Brush your teeth. are kind of bad with the wax in their ears. No, I'm serious. Like, I was watching, um... I was watching this. No, it was this video that we I was talking you about. Players aren't waxing. It's about cleaning your ears, and like you can get really bad ear infections if you don't. If you don't properly clean your ears out, you can get really bad infections. That guy's about to clean Carlos's ears out permanently and yeah, everything exactly. in between. You lost your mind. Uh, he looks like a caricature. <laughs> yeah, he does not His look like an actual so human being. He actually looks like he should be on um, claymation. What is that thing? The the wrestling one. Like it was like a WWE wrestling clay thing, and they had like celebrity yeah. death match. Oh. Yeah, they had like. Uh, uh, so I knew it when I was gonna say they had a oh yeah they had celebrities that killed each other mm. and then I, that came up. Have you ever seen Celebrity Deathmatch? I used to watch it every day. Oh, but it was really bad. Now I think about yeah, it. Yeah, it wasn't very <laughs> no. good. Look at Carlos. Even Carlos thinks you're dumb. Carlos looks like one of those girls looking back at you, back at you with a red cop at the party. You know what I'm talking <laughs> so about? So right. Dude. Super super imposed Carlos's face over all those fucking girls. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> There's like the editor, the girls the editor just put up a question mark whenever you don't know what the fuck Corey's talking There's about. Like, the no, photo, he should the photo know. Where all the girls are looking back at the they're, party. Yeah, they're at a party. All these girls are looking at you like you just walked in with a small stick at the oh. party. It's like a famous meme picture. Oh. What about that picture of the guy and his girlfriend, and he's looking back, and there's a guy in front of the, uh, there's a girl in front of the guy, he's looking back at her, but his go his girl's all like, guy, what are you looking back at? Oh wow, no, no, that not that. Like, that. I know what you're talking just, about. That is the most roundabout explanation. I know what you're no. talking about. You're talking about the guy who's like with his girlfriend but checking out another girl. Yeah. Yeah, but my, my way was better, you know? What you're, the fuck even was your way? You're, you're like describing it to a blind person. <laughs> <laughs> I was describing it to an alien. <laughs> yeah, you were. And the alien was absorbing all the information. You went, <laughs> <laughs> no, but oh. editor, you can still Dang do what it. I did. Just put question marks up still. Don't it's fine. Don't waste your bullets on those frogs. Yeah, why would you do that? Uh. They're not even hunters yet. They look right. cute. I actually do uh, every day feel myself turning into the bitter old man that you, you know, when it, like old people are like, back in my day, and you're like, shut up, old man. But now I'm actually like, wait, am I the old man? This is fucking scary. Yeah, no, it's okay. I kind of feel the same. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. We haven't really been helping you. Yeah, sure. No, it's Dave. all good. I feel myself getting there too, and I'm trying not to every B. day. You just get sick of seeing uh, the same I, shit I don't know all the what time. It is, then. You do. And the internet's just the same bad shit. It's never yeah, good it's just shit like anymore. Everybody flocks to the new drama, but that drama is only there for like a week or two, and then everybody forgets it. Because like the internet's attention span is like that of like a toddler. So nobody is engaged or cares. They just want to like flock to the next bullshit that happens, and then they forget about it a week later. And it's just it's an endless cycle. It's always like new bullshit. Forgotten. New bullshit. But Corey, Forgotten. you're gonna get someone now who's gonna be like, you're looking in the wrong places, there's so much wholesome stuff on the internet. I definitely don't subscribe to fucking wholesome content, but at the same time, like, eventually you come to that point where you just get tired of everybody telling you you can't do this, you can't do that, everyone's canceling everybody. Uh, there's just constant fucking controversy on every bit of thing that you almost feel like, it's like I don't even, I don't like even care me. anymore. I actually just- uh oh What? There's a little guy. I just feel ah. like eventually there's gonna be a renaissance where people are just gonna be like, <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore. Carlos is getting sucked off. 